quick demonstration on how to use the visualizer for a practical subject such as horticulture, which is what I'm doing. I'm set up in my potting shed and I have the laptop and the visualizer connected to it. If I was to do a live class, I would use the mobile hotspot on my mobile phone for an internet connection and then just connect to Zoom or Teams or whichever I'm using. To demonstrate, open your visualizer software on the laptop and you can just share the screen of what you want to demonstrate with your students. So this is what I've done here. The visualizer camera is capturing my potting tray and what I'm, I'm doing on it. And I'm also recording at the same time. So the students can watch or they can follow step by step or you can record it and put it up later on for students to watch. To go through some of the controls, I have autofocus and autofocus is both in the controls as well as on the camera head. So you can just click on the big round icon on the left hand side and there is an option as well to pin that so that you don't have to keep going into it, it won't disappear on you. You can auto adjust but you can't do that while you're recording so you have to do it beforehand or when you're just demonstrating. You can zoom in and out, you can zoom in and it goes further as well but I'm just going to zoom out again. You can rotate so that's portrait, it's upside down, and the way I had it landscape is what I want because that's what, how I can uh, get to my tray quite easily. You can annotate, so I'm going to pin that as well. So you could use um, freehand, you can use a marker, so you might want to point out that these are the seed leaves of the plant and these are the true leaves of the plant or well, obviously you can show that just as well but what you can do even while you're recording is you could take a photograph of this and uh, you can have the annotation on it then and keep that for your students for later on. If you want to erase anything there's an eraser there if you made a mistake or you can just wipe everything out and you just continue with your presentation. You have different types of presentation tools. So there's a spotlight and that can be adjusted. It can be moved around. Again, you can focus in on a particular area or you can widen that as well, whatever is necessary. And uh, you can have a, a square instead as well or a rectangle, whatever you prefer. And the other presentation tool that we have is a visor. So this covers the whole area. This is really handy when you have a book or a list of something and you don't want to reveal everything all at once. You can have a line down and you can just go through it line by line so it's not as overwhelming to look at it. So if you want to then demonstrate I'll just show you how, what you see. So I have a tray of uh, red cabbage plants here. They're at a stage now where I want to move them on into their own pots. Some of these little cell trays have several plants in them. So I can demonstrate quite clearly to the students what I'm actually doing here. I might zoom in a little bit. And up. What you would want to do is uh, keep an eye on the screen while you're demonstrating because you might be demonstrating and the camera is not actually capturing what you're doing. So that's really important. So if you want to explain to the students that they should handle the plant by a seed leaf, they can see what you're doing and what you mean by that. Loosening the roots. We've now taken the plant out. I can again point out finer details. The shape of a seed leaf. As you can see I'm set up in quite bright sunlight it makes it a little bit harder to see but that's where you can auto adjust, um, not auto adjust but adjust manually before you're starting to film. If I hadn't adjusted now you would see even less detail so that's not too bad as uh, visibility goes. 
So you can see all the finer details. You can either bring it up to the camera or you can bring it in a little bit closer to the camera. So I'll move that out of the way. And I have my tray set up here. Again, students can follow you step by step. Seedling goes all the way in. And I'm just gently pushing the soil around it, not firming it in. And you can demonstrate further how to water or you can repeat the process and uh, you can work it that way. So the visualizer is uh, a great tool to have for this purpose. And you could use it for cookery. You can do a, a cook along or a garden along, whatever it may be. You could use it for hairdressing, woodwork, explaining tools or devices in, in greater detail. And if you do this, as I said, with uh, better light conditions, it's a little bit clearer as well. But this is just how it is when you're in a garden. You, um, you don't have an influence over what the weather's going to be like. And that's it.